Hello everyone, welcome back to Anne's book review. So I missed yesterday, so I thought I would do two romance novels today. And I'm not gonna lie, I read this one a while ago, so I totally had to read it real quick to catch back up. So the two we're doing is Tempted by Regina Henley and Tracy Ann Warren, and it's called Her Highness and the Highlander. So real quick before I totally launch, I will do a ton of romance novels. As I said, when I started reading my library this year, I started with my romances and I have a ton. I think I have approximately 200. I really do enjoy a good romance. I think that they're fun and they bring something really pleasurable to a book reader if you can, you know, let yourself get involved in the story. And that is, it's a very predictable ending. And it's usually, there's some sort of like fun along the way. So there's usually some sort of adventure. Yes, you'll come across some that are kind of corny. Sometimes you'll come across some that you're just not a huge fan of. Um, but I think that's part of the fun adventure. The other thing that I'll touch on real quick is um, I'm gonna add a lust meter. So if you are really into reading erotic scenes, then it will kind of let you know that this one may be more erotic or that one won't. I will have zero to 10. If it's zero, obviously there's no, there's no, you know, fun stuff in there. And if it's a 10, it's probably like the most that I have read. Um, so I'm gonna start doing that now. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna do them rather quickly. That way I don't keep this dragging on forever. So the first one I'm gonna start with is The Tempted. Okay, so this guy, again, I don't know how much I got this one for. I'm guessing any of them that are kind of beaten up like this, I, I've had forever. And I usually get from a second price or like a, a used bookstore. Um, and so they don't always have a price tag on them. So this guy I've had for an eon, obviously you can tell I well love my books. I take them everywhere, that's how you know I love them. Uh, so I'm not sure how much I got this guy for. You can get them on Thrifty Books for $4.69. They were having a deal. It was $7.99. On Amazon, you can get it on the Kindle for $7.99 or on paperback for $4.75. And then Barnes & Noble, you can get it for $7.99, which I think I have to double check, I believe is the Nook price. So I'm not sure if they have a physical copy. So um, for the Lusty Meter, I'd give this guy a 7. I would give him a seven, her a seven, it a seven, because even though there's a ton of, uh, of naughtiness in here, some of it is not pleasurable to read. So what I'm hinting at, yep, yeah, you guessed it, beware. This does have some like rapey like scenes in it um, and just straight up rape. Um, and so it also has, if you're sensitive to big testosterone males kind of dominating women or calling them names, Probably not gonna like this guy. Um, also, there it was. It's also in here of Gypsy, which is a. I, I've just learned about this, so I'm, I'm trying to um, keep in mind. It's sensitive to Romney people. It is talked about here, and all of the issues that Romney people are having with being called Gypsy are absolutely in this book. Um, I can totally put a link if anybody's interested in that. I can put a link to a fantastic article I read to help understand why saying gypsy is not okay, and which I keep saying, I'm so sorry. Um, but it is it is in here, it is in, in here a lot. So if you are sensitive to that, please be aware. It's absolutely in here. Um, and I will stop saying it, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so yes, yeah, so very, very masculine, man, 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 man. Um, so it is in here, but there is a lot of, of naughtiness. So did this book get a sticker? No, not for me. And the reason I wouldn't give it a sticker is because, um, well, let's first read the synopsis. I probably should have done that first, sorry. Uh, my cat is sitting on my notes, as you can see. And so I kind of am forgetting what I'm doing next because it won't move. <laughs> so we'll just have to kind of ride through together. So tempted, all men lusted for the firebrand they called Flaming Tina, famed for the molten fire in her hair and for the hot temper running fierce through the noble Scots blood of Lady Valentina Kennedy. Forced into marriage with a fearsome warrior of an enemy clan, Tina vowed to use her wild beauty to gain mastery over Lord Ramsay Douglas. Women hungered to be pressed against his steely chest, and men feared the brawn and rage of Black Ram Douglas. Ram swore he would make the defiant 
La Valentina, a dutiful wife, after he had broken her hellion's pride. But the girl he set out to tame became the woman who taught him what it meant to be ardently, maddeningly, and gloriously tempted. Um, so, as you can tell from that, there is definitely a clash of wills, which I like. I love the fact that she is not a damsel in distress, though she did faint multiple times in the book. But she's not really a damsel in distress. She doesn't mind standing up for her own. I do love the fact that she's a tomboy because I am a tomboy. Um, so I love it whenever a character is kind of a little less refined and and will kind of lose her, her patience and things like that. I didn't like the, the mastery over over the girl or, or trying to tame her spirit or the fact that, you know, the men were, you know, kind of like uncouth and not very refined. I know it's like a period piece, but it's, it still was not, just wasn't my cup of tea. This was written in 1992. So I still feel like there's a little bit of, I'm guessing when women liked or thought they liked to be dominated or the idea of that was attractive, does not do a lot for me. But if it is your cup of tea and you do like big burly Scottish men and you know, and the, you know, taking over of you, then, then you might like the book. So this one's maybe a fun one to check out. I definitely would at least read it. I don't think that she's, it's very well written and there's other pieces of the story that's coming along and there's even ghosts in it. So it can be fun to read. I just don't think that it would be one that's like one of my personal favorites that I would read again and again. So tempted, give it a try. If none of the triggers bother you, definitely give it a try. Okay, so other one, I'll try to do even quicker. If I can see my notes. All right, so as I said, Tracy Ann Warren, I do like her. She's a very sweet author. So I have a couple, I have another set of books of hers. Um, so she, this is not the only one of hers that I own. So Her Highness and Her Highlander, it was written in 2012. I got it for $4 from a used bookstore. On thrift books, you can get it for $4.96. Um, Amazon, you can get it for $7.99. Kindle, you can get it for $7.99. Barnes and Noble on the Nook, you can get it for $7.99. So, yeah, might want to go thrift books or a used bookstore. Um, so, <laughs> I would give, uh, so let's do the, the sentence first. Um, while journeying home from Scotland, Princess Mercedes of Aladdin's coach is set upon and her personal guard is killed. Barely escaping with her life, Mercedes seeks help at a nearby inn. But since she has no money and looks little better than a beggar, her claim that she is a princess is dismissed by the townsfolk as a far-fetched tale. Utterly forsaken, Mercedes wonders what is to become of her. After years of soldiering, disposed lard Daniel McKinnon is finally coming home. While at an inn, he is confronted by a bed-raggled young woman claiming to be of royal blood. Daniel doesn't believe her wild tale, but when she asks for his protection, he agrees to serve as her bodyguard. In turn, she promises to reward him handsomely once they reach London. But Mercedes is still being pursued by ruthless hunters whose motives remain unclear. The danger increases as does the desire that she and Daniel feel for each other until the two of them must face the greatest danger of all, falling in love. So this is a really cute romance novel. I gave it a two on the lusty meter. I didn't think it you know, had a ton of erotic I mean it's in there it's just not like super detailed so I wouldn't say it was like super erotic so I give it a two I just gave it a two um the story is really sweet I kind of think it would deserve like maybe a half a sticker it should have a half a sticker program uh, because it is it's really sweet like if you're feeling you know you know delicate of heart it's a really sweet one it's I think it's a fun story because you definitely have the frustration of this poor girl that has just gone through hell and she looks like hell she doesn't look like a princess um, and the poor guy is, is trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but he's like, she's absolutely crazy. Um, so it's a fun little story as you go through. I think the reason I wasn't a huge fan of it is I feel like, as I said in the previous one, I felt like the main character was kind of weak, even though she's a princess, so she's supposed to be, she's strong in other ways, right? But, um, but yeah, so this one was, you know, like I said, half a sticker, um, pretty innocent, pretty sweet if you like a good, just a really good sweet romance novel to start with without too much like, you know, throbbing member, then this is probably a good one for you to start with. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, comments, or, um, or you want me to read any other books or do a review on any other books, please let me know. 
put it in the comments below and um, I will see you next time. Thank you.